right. With um, a classmate absent, I'm going to go ahead and record doing this one. So let's go through this. We're doing six plus the quotient of four times the number and seven is not equal to 14. We do not have any parentheses, no distribution has to happen. So no step four or three. There's also no step four. Even though we've got this and this, because the four X is being divided by the seven, we can't combine like terms with the six and the seven. So we need to go to step five, <clears throat> which first means rewriting this inequality. And all this, although this looks a little bit complex because we've got a division problem in it, we're just gonna go step by step and I hope you see by the end it is not that complex. This step says to eliminate the constant term from the side with the variable. This is the side with the variable. And our constant term is the six. So we're gonna zero that out by subtracting it. I'm gonna rewrite my work over here because I'm running out of space. I've got four X divided by seven is not equal to eight. Do teams look like this? Okay, we're going to rewrite what we have done here to show our steps. Typically when you're solving these, you don't have to keep rewriting it. We're just doing this to show which step we're working on here. This next step says, cancel the coefficient using multiplication or division. Well, our coefficient this time is a fraction. It's four over seven. So what are we going to do with that? I see people doing something like this with their finger. We need that reciprocal, don't we? So we're going to do 7 over 4. We want to turn that into an invisible 1, and it's been a few weeks since we've seen something like this, but do you all remember what that does? 7 times 4 is 28. 4 times 7 is 28. Any fraction with a denominator and denominator the same is equal to 1. So that means x is not equal to, 14. it is 14. Eight times seven divided by four is 14. I did use my calculator when I did that. That's our solution. <clears throat> now based on my little mistake of just plugging in the number last time, let's go ahead to step eight real quick and graph it. Because in order to plug a number into substitute, we have to think about what makes this true. And what makes this true is any number except 14. So we would circle this on the number line and show every other number works. <coughs> Bless you. My favorite number to work with on a situation like this where it looks sort of complex is zero. Think about what happens when I go plug in a zero for that X. So I'm going to say six plus four times zero divided by seven is not equal to 14. We have to do multiplication first. What's four times zero going to be? So we rewrite this as six plus zero divided by seven is not equal to 14. What happens when I divide seven by zero or zero by seven? I get a zero. So I've got six is not equal to 14. Is that true? So you can choose any number to plug in except 14 to check this. I like zero because it makes it easy. I basically got rid of that fraction without having to work with it, right? So I'm going to substitute in here my x equals 0. You could have used any other number, and I'm guessing when you work with your team you may have, but I hope you see um, an easy way because we like our shortcuts in math. 
multiplying and dividing, once you've got a zero in there, can make it life easy. All right, so let's flip through this. What's our next one unsolved? It's on the back page. We have negative nine times the difference of twice a number and three is greater than or equal to nine. What's our important words here? Negative. Well, negative goes with the number. I'm looking for the action words. Times, difference, twice, mm -hmm. greater than or equal to. So let's read through this again and see if you can see how I translated the English to the numbers. Negative 9 times the difference of. The difference of means I'm subtracting two things, doesn't it? That of is our signal that what's coming next is what's going to be our two different things we're subtracting. I've got twice and three. Twice the number is 2x. Minus 3 is greater than or equal to what? Oh. Oh. Are we seeing it now? Yeah. Again, I'm not expecting you guys to look at these and be like, oh, I got this. I have to really think about them. But looking at them and taking your time, they're doable. Let's take a few minutes and let your table go through the steps. We do have distribution this time, so we're not skipping step three. Make sure that you're showing that and work together as a team.